Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at some miscellaneous uh, stuff with bar plots such as intervals and scatter plots with bars. Uh, let's get started. So first let's go on and create up a new um, plot and so this is a uh, uh, bokeh bar o, I believe we're at 07 now. And let's go on and uh, start off. So the thing is that bar plots uh, can be used um, for a lot more things than just kind of uh, uh, pr uh, showing counts, okay? It can also represent something like an interval across time, okay? So, and, and I find this to be very useful for when you're, um, again, you're showing uh, time intervals, such as, so for if you're, example, today we're gonna be working with a sprint uh, and sprints data set, but if you're looking at um, maybe some industrial intervals and those types of things. Those are also very useful as well as well as um, stuff that is uh, varying over time. So let's go on and get in our uh, necessary um, imports. We're going to import in here figure and show. We're also going to grab in um, from bokeh.models. We're going to import our uh, column data source. And then from uh, bokeh.sampledata.sprint, we're going to import sprint as df. And then let's go on and um, kind of clean up some of the data. So df, um, well, first off, let me actually just do something like print df.head in here. And let's go and print this so you can see. Um, clear this and redo this again so that it's clean. So here we see that we have name, country, metal, time, year. So um, and also if I did something like um, uh, print df.info on these as well, um, you can see here that the integer and the time are um, uh, a float integer and a float and an integer and those are things that we're going to have to kind of correct. Um, in a little bit and so let's get rid of those for now and let me move this back up so you can see what's going on so first we want uh, df year here to be um, df year dot as type uh, we want this to turn this to a string and then we're going to create a group in here and that'll be df dot group by uh, year and then we're going to create our source data in here as a column data source as the group. So uh, P is equal to figure, and here we're going to do a Y range, uh, and it's going to be group. So the years are going to be on the Y axis this time instead of on the X axis. Um, then we're going to have a Y an X range in here, and I already looked, uh, looked this up, and we want this to be something like 9.5 to 12.5. Eight. Um, then we're going to have in here a plot uh, width in here of I'm going to do five five hundred a plot height in here of five hundred um, and then we're going to turn off the toolbar uh, toolbar location here is going to be none we want the title um, uh, you know what, let's do tools in here and we don't want any tools either. Um, and this needs to be equals. Uh, and then let's also give it a title in here to be something like uh, time spread for sprint Metalists uh, by year. And then we're going to do in here, we're going to do a horizontal bar. Okay, so that's an H bar instead of what we've had before. Y is going to be year. Um, left here is going to be time uh, min. Right here is going to be time max. Uh, and then height here I'm going to be z equal to zero, zero, zero point 0.4 source is equal to 
source. Uh, let's go on and take a look at it really quickly. Oh, whoops. It's not going to help me if I don't tell it to show, is it? So now we can see that uh, here we kind of have this nice little stair step method in here. Um, everything looks pretty good to me. Um, some, some things that we would probably want to do is we'd want to put some sort of uh, name on this x-axis in here. Um, the ears here are pretty standard. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger to see. Um, now you may or may not want to keep the the uh, grid in here. Let's go on and turn off um, those as well. Um, so we'll do something like p dot outline line color is equal to none um, p dot x grid dot um, x axis line color is none uh, and then we also want something like p dot x axis dot axis label is equal to something like time in seconds um, and I think oh whoops this is not this this is grid okay run that and so now we have a nice um, clean data set and maybe uh, this actually needs to be Y grid not X grid so this is Y grid there now it looks kind of pretty um, so you can see here that there are a great uh, many ways that we can uh, create these types of um, visualizations using this is this is for showing intervals uh, let's go on and do one more example in here using um, scatter plots. Uh, so let's call this one bokeh bar 08.py. And um, what are we going to want in here? We're going to say from bokeh.plotting, we're going to import figure and show. We also want from bokeh.models, we're going to import the column data source uh, from uh, bokeh dot um, sample data dot commits we're going to import uh, data as DF and then we'll do something like from bokeh dot transform uh, we're going to import jitter um, and so let's go on and do something like days because I know that this one we're going to need that. So Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. Source here is going to be our column data source of DF. Uh, and then let's go on and create our plot here. Uh, figure plot uh, width in here is going to be 800. Uh, plot height. Plot height in here we want something like 400. Y range is going to be days. X axis type. Here is going to be a date time. Um, uh, toolbar location, we're going to turn it off. Tools, um, it's going to be empty. Uh, title in here is going to be uh, commits by time of day, and we'll do US. Uh, 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 central time 
Um, and then we also want something. I think that the years in here are going to be different. What do we What do we want the years to be? Oh, for Pete's sake, uh, let's do 2012 by 2016. P dot circle because we're doing a scatter plot in here. X is going to be time. Y here is going to be. Um, you know what? Uh, do I want to do that yet? All right. You know what? I'm going to just do day for now, and um, I'll I'll show you guys what happens when we use the jitter. Uh, do it without jitter first. Um, and let's go on and just oh shoot. Let me do show p run this without any of the cleanup. All right, so this is actually what it, what everything looks like if we just plot it as a scatter plot. Um, and notice here that you have these nice dark bands in here, but it's very hard to see the observations. So what we're going to want to do is to add in um, some sort of kind of like jitter offset. So then it makes it nice and wide and we can kind of put a little bit of see through and it kind of almost makes it look like a bar. So if you ever wind up having plots that look like this, go on and make a jitter and you can actually see the distribution a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on and instead of just day here, we're going to use the jitter function and we'll do something like um, day uh, width in here is going to be 0 0.6 range is going to be p dot y excuse me p dot range is equal to p dot y range uh, and then let's go on and put in some cleanup in here we want the x axis in here um, of zero on well, the first piece in there formatter dot days we're going to format this and we want this to be something like um, big little that'll be good uh, and then we do p dot x range in here dot range padding and it's going to be zero we're going to get rid of any of that padding and then we'll p dot y grid dot grid line color color is going to be none so let's run this and so now here we actually see this nice pretty looking um, data okay so we have we've added in the jitter and here down here um, we've have the hour with just a small H next to it to represent the hour to make sure that it's nice and clean in here you see it got rid of that uh, one slash oh one and there so now it looks very very clean um, so again I hope you guys like this if you find this useful and you want to see more content like this please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time bye bye